Well, Manchester United is really chasing in for a technical director. And remember that role was supposed to be taken by uh, a Paul Michu. But Paul Michu said, I cannot be a technical director. I'm only wanting to be a sporting director. Yet, United had already gone ahead to really bring in Dan Ashworth, who, who his deal looks like it's off in there for you. And you never know what will happen in the nick of time where does this leave darren fletcher as the technical director for the club of man united because this man coming in through he has a cv that can speak for himself before he even utters out a statement he worked with man city he's at southampton he has gone ahead to resign lots of teams being linked to you and our rival liverpool is also wanting to sign him but for brizio romano has gone ahead to give us the best news that you'll ever want to hear as a fan of man united smash like button comment and share if at all you're watching us for the very first time endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily and it's a Tuesday, 2nd of April, and hope you guys are really having fun wherever you are. Welcome back from Easter. The Christians, we cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And the Muslims, Ramadan Karim, you people are soon coming to the end of the of the month of ramadan and hili is around the corner so let's see close to how many subscribers let's see close to 300 likes much in this video and continue to subscribe because we are left with few subscribers to hit 17,000 subscribers so let's continue to do that now yesterday fabrizio romano went ahead obviously break the story <coughs> and he said no negotiations oh this not really not really not really not not really um I think um, this isn't the post that I'm supposed to obviously start up with. Let me, let me try to look out for the one that Fabrizio Romano went ahead to put out yesterday as he broke this story about this guy that went ahead to join the club of Man United. And he told us the following that. Jason. Willocks has resigned from Southampton. He said to join Man United as new technical director. Southampton refused to accept fee, so Willocks will resign as he wants to join Man United. Former Man City head coach of Academy will be key part of Man United new era. So, what is happening right now is that Man United has gone ahead, obviously, be spot on, and they've gone ahead to look at him as the new guy who is going to come in through to do the needful for the club of Manchester United. They want him as the new technical director for the club of Man United. Darren Fletcher is going to be kicked out of the way for the club of Man United and new ones. The new guy is going to be put in the club of Manchester United. That is Jason Willex. And who is Jason Willex? Let me try to obviously read to you some of his bio. Um, Jason Malcolm Willix was born on 15th March 1971, is an English football coach, former professional footballer and director of football at Championship Club, that is Southampton. So, that is what he does. And as a player, Willix was a left winger from 1989 until 2006, notably in the Premier League for Blackburn Rovers, um, where he won the title in 1995. He also played in the top flight of Leeds and for Leicester City in the championship. He retired following a brief stint in the Football League with Blackpool. He made three appearances for England. After retiring from football, Willix was initially a co-commentator for the BBC Radio Lancashire before moving into coaching with Manchester City in 2012. He went to become the academy director of the Premier League side Man City as a post he held until 2023 when he joined Southampton. So he has been working with Man City until 2023 as the head coach of the under-23s. Now, you can relate. You can relate how he has gone ahead to come up to obviously be on the... Um, on the on the list of Man United. Omar Berada was at Man City and he left... Um, I think he left towards the end was it towards no it, he left i think in february that's when the huge announcement was made that this guy is not gonna be the uh one of the ceos you know he was an operating officer i think in the financial in the financial department of man's city and then he came in through and really said i want to look at people that i've gonna hate to work with and looks like he admires 
Jason Willocks, and he believes he can come out through at the club of Man United and do the job. Now, Dylan Fletcher has been the technical director of Man United, but he has not gone ahead to really give us the best. This guy has just gone ahead to leave Man City in 2023. But when I really tell you players that have gone ahead to obviously fetch in a lot of money for the club of Man City, you can really imagine how good this guy is. Cal Palmer was in the academy of man city being attended to by jason willocks and this guy went ahead to obviously see to it that he grooms him to an extent that man city went ahead to earn 45 million pounds from his sale from manchester city to chelsea romeo lavia they bought him for i think it was 20 was it 10 20 million i think it was like 10 15 million pounds from man city to southampton and they had a 20 million pound you know, sell, sell on clothes. They sold him for 65 million pounds. This team ended up getting close to 100, close to 15 million pounds on the sale of her, uh, Romeo Lavia to Chelsea. There is Kabore who is playing at uh, Kabore who is playing at uh, Luton Town. He's another Man City guy. Uh, Burnley has like two players from Man City on loan and I trust me they're going to really get some good money out of them look at uh, Ikinacho you know and very many other players that have been at Man City and have gone here to be sold from the academy that is the beauty of having a player like this and a technical director one of his biggest roles is to see the development of the club especially the young department you understand when you look at man united darren fletcher is gonna hate to do us a disservice at the club of man united and look at the price at which we are selling our players from the academy you know zidane Iqbo, i think he went in for less than a million euro a charlie savage i think like five was it five million pounds chongi he went in for like uh, is it one million pound and when he was, and when Birmingham sold him to Luton Town for three, I think we got in one more million pound. We are selling these players for peanuts, meaning that we don't get them the required loans. That's the problem. The development, their transition from the academy to reaching the level where they're supposed to be really getting in, game in, game out, is really lacking at the club of Man United. And that's what Darren Fletcher has gone ahead to get wrong. That's why you sort of eat that. We are not having very many players that have gone ahead to loan away and return at Man United and really convince the manager. Ganacho was loaned where He was just <clears throat> promoted to the first team by Eric Ten Hag. Look at um, um, look at uh, Kobe Mainu. He was loaned where All the players that Darren Fletcher has gone ahead to loan, I think we've only gone ahead to get one that has gone ahead to come in through and really show us his potential. That is Ahmad Diallo. But when you look at the likes of um charlie savage he has gotten sold liad aliad you remember him very well that right back he was sold to qpr i think then you talk about um uh you talk about which other players shura shuratire higu higil we have very many players um alvaro fernandez Look at the loans of Facundo Pelestri. If I told these loans were really right, Facundo Pelestri would have been now a 30 or 40 million pound player. Even if Ten Hag wouldn't want to use him, this player would have gone ahead to hit that mark of really getting in that huge amount of money at the club of Man United. So for me, I think we should we need to get in a person that has gone ahead to do this for a very long period of time. See to it that he scouts good players because being um a head coach. And then you've gone ahead to act as a sporting director. You qualify to be a technical director because for <clears throat> Darren Fletcher, we don't know where he has ever gone ahead to do this job. We've never, never at any one point went ahead to know where he went ahead of operate. I don't really remember a day this guy working outside Man United. He came in through, he was doing his internship at the club of Man United. And because it's the job for the boys at man united they retained him at the club of man united and that really went ahead to really be the reason but he has no good history about that so i think the only player that he loaned and went ahead obviously come back and really showed us his potential hannibal is in the mix but he also went ahead to really give him a very bad loan to severe yet teams like everton in the premier league and luton town were interested in keeping this player at money in the premier league and that was really bad i've even gone ahead to read the story that 
Honeyball is going to return to the club of Man United because Sevilla feels like they cannot pay 20 million euros for this player who cannot get into their team. So it is really very, very, very worrying. And it comes to my understanding that uh, you have a lot on the table, but you need someone to serve it right. So we've been having a lot on the table, but we needed someone to serve it right. And this is the guy that... Man United have gone ahead to bring him through to act as the new technical director for the club of Man United. And I think he's going to do as well at the club of Man United. And I'm really excited for him to come out and obviously start his job in here at the club of Man United. So I wait to see how that pans out. And after that story came in through, we went ahead to really see to it that um, this is Paul Hurst. He's a correspondent of Man United. And Man City for the Times told us that Southampton are ready to insist Jason Willock serves his 12 month notice period until United increase their offer. So it's the same thing that we are really into. That you remember why we're not going to have to get a Dan Ashworth in is because Newcastle wants 20 million pounds and it looks like they want Man United to increase their offer. Or if not, they'll put him on a gardening leave and he'll serve the next 12 months without joining Man United. So that's what Southampton is really doing. And I think they are just trying to manipulate the club of Man United. But I tell you, nothing's not going to happen. Now, as that story really broke him through, even Ninza Kinsella came out and told us that Liverpool have agreed a compensation package with Southampton to appoint Jason Willicks. The deal is to pay one year of his salary manchester united are trying to hijack the move now he said this but all after that being said that liverpool is into the guy fabricio romano came out and really gave, gave us what we call a clear clarification about this that no negotiations all talks taking place between jason willocks and liverpool as reported yesterday willocks has agreed to join man united as a new technical director ready to be part of in your project it's just about when no talks planned with other clubs so the guy has gone ahead to admit that he's supposed he's supposed to play for one club that he's he's supposed to go to man united and liverpool are trying to hijack him because they know how good he is and i really feel well when i see man united going in for people that are being wanted by other clubs him having gone ahead to work at man city gives him the accreditation of really being one of the best and that authentifies him as one of the best people that we can ever get being at city for a decade plus one year isn't an easy thing that means you are good at your job and you've gonna hate to obviously be given the flowers and you've gonna hate to approve to the people at city that you're really good enough to do the job so that is the guy that money is getting in through as our new technical director but we pray to it that it all goes as to plan because looks like the side of looks like the side of um southampton is trying to play hardball but i think we will obviously come to pass but it shows you that omar berada is already starting working although he's on a gardening leave but he's working to his fullest to put in a lot of energy in there for you and the southampton manager has come out and said the following he's called russo martin on jason willocks moving to man united he said i've not spoken to the club about it you know my feelings on jason and i will have a chat with him after i've just had a text saying how proud he was of the performance. The rest is once I'm told, I'll let you know. So, looks like he knows, but he's just waiting for the club to put out a statement such that he comes out and really follows it up with what he thinks is right. And I know after the game they're going to play in the midweek, it's really going to do the best of the best. And it shows you that he's doing a good job at Southampton because when you look at uh, how Southampton have gonna hit recruit in players, at their club they're really having in young stars and when you look at the championship um yesterday they were beaten by ipswich by three goals to two and they might even return to the premier league because they're having 38 games played 74 points and in the championship remember they play 46 games meaning that they are left with um they've played 38 they are left with eight games to go so if at all they keep themselves between the fourth Sorry, between the third and sixth position, they'll be able to play into the playoffs because I don't see them really coming up to get to the position of Leicester. 
but let's just gonna hit obviously not do the need but if switch and leads are really leading the table meaning that those two might be in contention to return to the premier league so guys your thoughts onto that are welcome in the comment section below about Jason Willocks to Man United being the new technical director. Ineos is working and we pray all the all we pray all of that goes according to plan. I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ, the Muslims, Ramadan Karim. I'm out. See you later.